and below the mouth is not sure exactly what you would call it but the mouth actually protrudes from the the chin the, the chin protrudes and then it you have an indent and then you have the mouth which you'll see right here so and there's the the dividing line between the indent from the mouth to the, it, where it comes back out for the chin so that's all I was drawing from the front uh, and I think it's it's actually very important you'll notice on on that side view of the mouth that the upper lip actually extends just out a little bit more than the lower lip if you draw them completely flat so the lower lip extends just as far as the upper lip you'll end up with something that really reads very strangely it doesn't work at all here I'm looking up at the mouth you can see I've started with a, a form line that wraps around the head and that for, the form lines wrap around it almost like almost like it were a cylinder and you have a, like an elastic band wrapped around the cylinder and so I'm just running my mouth along that line the the center line of the mouth and, and the upper lip is actually much larger much wider than the lower lip you see very little of the lower lip and the lower lip is is actually curved upward into the the upper lip because the whole mouth curves along that line uh, and here looking at the bottom uh, the, I'm, I'm drawing a mouth that you're looking down on so it's just the opposite and because of that the upper lip is actually very thin you would see very little of it because it's curved away from you and the lower lip you would see more of because it's um, it's angled towards you and drawing the center line along it um, it's a bit more of a complex center line because I'm, I'm using that to show the, the way that the um, the planes angle from that that angle Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead here and draw an, an entire head because uh, a, a very important thing I think with, with drawing a mouth is the fact that the mouth actually opens and when the mouth opens uh, well when the jaw opens uh, it, it doesn't just swing straight down it it, it, it works on a hinge so I want to draw basically a, a simple skull shape you can see I'm, I'm drawing the jaw as if it was a skull and there's my hinge point right there um, and now I'm going to draw the same head again I'm going to draw the mouth open just to, to show how it, it hinges on that pivot point um, it's very easy to make the mistake of, of drawing the jaw uh, just extending straight downwards which when you you see it illustrated the way that it is here it seems strange that somebody would would draw it that way but when you're drawing a, a face with with flesh on it and all that kind of thing you're not thinking about the actual form underneath it's very easy to make that mistake uh, so here I, I'm going to draw the hinge working and and because it's a hinge it it works along an arc so the the jaw actually arcs back and and that's how it opens and that's a way to make it a mouth open you know properly